Nick Volatieri watching Inside Tennis with my man, The Cause. Welcome back, tennis fans, and now for part one of our Dick Vitale Lakewood Ranch Intercollegiate Tennis Classic. Dick Vitale, young people, part of your life. Charity's part of your life. This weekend, you have both here for the Dick Vitale Lakewood Ranch College Clay Court Championships. What's this weekend mean to you, Dick? Well, you know, it's really special to be able to have quality tennis players come here in our area and play. We have over 20 colleges represented, and most of all, too, which is really important to me, raising money for kids battling cancer. Every banner, David, you see hang, hung here is $500, so we're going to raise some good dollars for kids battling cancer, and to me, that's my number one right now obsession. I work 24-7 because there's nothing worse than seeing a mom and dad have to put their child to rest and we must do something about it and we need dollars. First Watch Cafe, an extended Dick Vitel family member. What's it mean for them to be presenting this event for you? Well, they do a great job. Uh, they spent a lot of money here. Uh, beautiful people, the CEO, Ken Pendry, Chris Tommaso, just great people. Uh, they understand the importance of what we're trying to do. Uh, only 4% of every dollar, 4 cents out of every dollar that is raised for cancer goes to pediatrics, and that's a crime. That's sad. 4%. I mean, we're talking about young people, young people chasing dreams and goals, and that's what we're trying to do is to help them. Tell people they can help me donate by going to dickvitalonline.com. You'll see a picture of me with a little girl who lost her life, Lacey Holsworth. You click on that picture, and you can make a donation through the V Foundation. You may save the child you love. Greg, tennis has been a major part of your life for decades as a player, as a strong fan. Now you and your company, GCB, are supporting tennis, growing the game in the area. What does this mean to you to be involved with promoting tennis? Oh, it's really been the end of a lifelong dream, David. I've been very fortunate in my career to work with folks that have uh, given away in excess of $10 billion. So philanthropy is a powerful force for me. Uh, tennis is the second powerful force and being associated with uh, an individual like yourself, the cause. You're, and, you're kind, thank you. Dick, Dick Vitale and uh, an event like this is just uh, the ultimate. It all really started with uh, Tad Berkowitz, you know, thinking about, I'm like, what, what, can I, what do I have to do to get a college tournament here? And he goes, just apply for it. And I, and I was like, really? And that's it? And, you know, it took off from there. And, you know, I have a lot of friends in college coaching, and uh, I knew they would back me and want to come to Florida in November. It's a great place to be this time of year and uh, with the quality teams. And, uh, you know, it just took off from there. Dick Vitale spends almost every day of the week out here playing tennis. What's Dick bring to a tennis program? What's it like having him around every day? There's never a dull moment. He's tenacious. He's a pit bull. He uh, always uh, wants to be upbeat, and he's a real fierce competitor. The tennis industry knows this guy as a world-class tennis professional and director of tennis. But now you're into being a talent agent. You told me about this girl, this girl, Alana, how good she was going to be at the party that kicked off the event. She just brought down the house. Where does she get this talent? From you as her coach in tennis? Um, no, but I can tell you she's very talented. She's got her talent. Uh, mother's a singer also. She does a uh, great job. She's unbelievable. I've coached her since she's about six years old on tennis court. Alana will miss two or three shots. And I say, you know what, Alana? Forget the tennis right now. Let's, <laughs> let, let, let's hear some Beyonce or Drake. And she'll just blast it out, and it really mixes things up well. She's uh, really well-versed. Oh my goodness, Alana, that was terrific. 
You were nightclubbing the other night. You kicked off those events for the Dick Vitale Lakewood Ranch College Clay Courts. Right. Now to have it live in person right here, the talent is there. I know it's on the tennis court, but it's certainly here on stage. How do you enjoy expressing yourself with your talent? I love expressing myself because God gave me two amazing gifts and I do not plan on wasting them. Another great tournament on the Mick Huber Tennis Beat. <laughs> Mick, what do you enjoy about this one, the Dick Vitale Clay Court Classic? Well, I mean, you get to see some really good tennis. I mean, it's these, this is high-level tennis, but you also get a little touch of the college flavor. You know, people dressed up in the, their garb, you know, and cheering during the matches a little bit, you know, and so that's kind of a nice touch. Well, first of all, we're really uh, fortunate to be invited. Um, this is our fourth or fifth year, and um, it's it's always a great tournament. Extremely well run. Chris Marquez does a phenomenal job. Uh, ben Friendly at the tournament desk uh, is, is amazing, and uh, it's a great tournament. My players love it. Um, me as a coach, you know, it's a great atmosphere, and we're really, uh, we enjoy coming here. It was, it was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. It's beautiful weather today and a lot of people came out to watch and it was really nice playing in front of such a nice crowd. It's always good, uh, fun to represent the Gators and be here with my teammates, especially in the fall because there's not many other tournaments going on. So um, it's a really good opportunity to work on my game, especially with the clay and everything. So, <laughs> Mike Patrick, what is this? in line for the players to come down here one of the last matches in the fall practice is over and they're playing on clay how good is this going into the spring well it gives them something to look forward to we had a local girl come back home which is ashley a, that is ashley got to come back home and play in front of her home fans and stuff which is exciting and her teammates got to come down to a nice warm place and great hospitality stay in a nice place and uh playing great great weather you had a homecoming today coming yes. back to play and guess who was watching you the entire match dick vitale cheering and, and pulling for you that was so good what's it like to have dick vitale in your corner cheering for you did you hear him once in a while yes that's awesome i'm i'm so happy he could make it out to come watch me and um it means a lot to have him there cheering for me super so. Oh, it's amazing. I was here last year and I couldn't wait to come back. I absolutely love it here. The weather is awesome. The courts are amazing. Uh, I like that we start host families so we get a chance to meet new people. I love playing on clay court. I'm from Spain and I really love playing on clay court so I really like it here. It's amazing. I mean the, the weather and everything is pretty nice. Like the people here is awesome so it's just like amazing to be here. Uh, I mean, I think it gives the girls a chance to come out, have longer rallies, develop more points, um, give them a chance to, to work on their fitness a little bit too with longer longer rallies out here. Um, I mean, I, I'm not, they weren't so comfortable when they first got here, but you know, having one team in the doubles final, a girl in the singles final, they've obviously adjusted and uh, we're very, very proud to, to be here at the Dick Vitale Classic. Chris, what does this event mean for Navy, the Midshipman Tennis Program? Well, it's a great opportunity for the guys to get away for a weekend, play some great competition down here in a beautiful part of the country, uh, meet some different people, and uh, have a great weekend. What's it mean for the guys to hang around with this crazy guy, Dick Vitale? Oh, I think it's a lot of fun, uh, especially for what Dick Vitale has meant to sports, college sports, and the passion he brings to whatever he's involved in. So just to give the college players an opportunity to be a part of something like this is special. It's a great, you know, end to the fall, just a, I mean, wonderful place for us coming, you know, great competition over here for the guys. So, I mean, it's a fun, you know, end to the fall, you know, and especially with our guys going on yesterday, you know, it means a lot to them, yeah. The guys uh, love to play on, on clay. They love to compete on clay. So every time that we got out on the courts uh, at Miami, on clay courts, uh, they were motivated. They were thinking about playing this tournament. They know it's uh, at a great venue, and uh, they will th that they knew that they would be playing in front of a lot of people if uh, we got to the finals. So, so, so it's a it's a really good event for us. Uh, it's great. Uh, this is, I mean, it's an awesome tournament. All the guys I know they have a lot of fun when they come here. Uh, it was great two years ago when I came as a player, and it's it's great now as an assistant coach. I love it. I love the environment. I love the organization. I feel a lot of support from families that come and host uh, student athletes, and it's an awesome experience. 
the weather is great, the crowd is great. The courts are really well prepared and the staff overall just really well organized tournament and it's it's always great to be here. We really like it. We've come now for I what if we told you you could get legendary performance, iconic styling, and industry-leading technology in one ultimate driving machine? And what if we told you it could be yours for less than you imagined at BMW of Sarasota? Like new 320i's, only $269 per month. That's right, 320i's, $269 per month. Now there's only one thing to say. Yes. BMW of Sarasota. Experience the ultimate difference. Tennis fans, make sure that you have your chance to serve for our new BMW from BMW of Sarasota on December 12th. Stop in to BMW of Sarasota on 5151 Clark Road now to sign up for your opportunity to drive away in a beautiful BMW and tell them that the cause sent you. See you at the BMW of Sarasota Service Ace at Philippi Estates Park. What's tennis add to your life? Well, you know, first of all, I play regularly. I mean, I'm 76. I act about and 12. proud of it. <laughs> yeah. I, I act about 12. 12 going on 10. Yeah, but I play right here at this court at least twice, three times a week. I love competing. I love playing. I play singles. Uh, tennis big in our home. As you know, my two girls went to the University of Notre Dame on full tennis scholarships. Uh, my grandkids are all playing basically right now, are really doing a great job, getting better and better and better. Better. So tennis has been a vital part of our life. And I got to meet a legend in the sporting industry, Dick Vitell. What kind of impact does he have on the kids? Well, he always has a great message for them, you know, and it's impressive for them to take that back home to their teammates. And he's got such enthusiasm for life. Uh, you can't really put that into words, but he's, he's special. I actually like him a lot. I came here last year and got to meet him and got to know his story. And I actually enjoy every moment that I can talk to him. He's such a great guy and he's a really uh, cool character to be around. Um, he's really inspirational. Uh, he's an awesome guy, he's very admirable, very inspirational. Um, had a great time talking with him, meeting him for the first time. He's really funny, very comical, but I also like to um, hear about what he has to say about the organizations that he works with. Um, I think it's cool to hear about what he cares about um, off the basketball court. He's a cult figure in college. Kids love him, you know, I mean, uh, on campuses. And so they see him out here and rubbing shoulders with him and they think it's just the greatest thing. And, and he's so positive and so into sports. I mean, you know, it's not just basketball, you know. I mean, his daughters, you know, they... Notre Dame players, Notre Jerry Dame and Terry. Players, and they're a very important part in their life and that's kind of why Dick Vitale ended up down here. So, you know, tennis is big in his world. The world knows what you learned from Dick Vitell. But you and I talked that you had the mother who was perhaps number one in the ranks yeah. in tennis moms. Yeah, what did you was. learn from her that you're using yourself? My mom was a was an awesome tennis mom because she kind of stayed off to the side, um, didn't say much, would just sit casually, watch our matches, and regardless of how I played, regardless of if I won or lost, God Unconditional again, love all the say, way. Great job, Sherry, great job. And I'd be like, what were you watching? I just lost, you know, but she was calm and she was always there for me and never put pressure on Terry and I. And my dad was the opposite. Um, you know, if he would come to a match, he, he'd be pacing back and forth and you could just feel his nervous energy just being there. But my mom was the exact opposite. So I try to be like my mom, but I have a little bit of my dad in me where that feisty competitiveness. So, um, yeah, my mom was a wonderful tennis parent. <laughs> Sometimes it's better if you don't know too much and you don't say too much and, uh, you know, interfere and put too much pressure on them. So I'm just the relaxed one and that's just my personality. Dick is the opposite, but that's why we're married 47 years. That's why it works. Absolutely. Tennis is a special thing to our family, so it's awesome seeing the college players here this weekend. And it's awesome and, you know, it's a great role model for my daughter to see and have something to aspire to. We do this every year. This is Dick's most fun event with the tennis tournament, getting all these college kids to come. And we, we relive it as if it were our kids again when they were in college. Those were the greatest days. Oh, he's been great. I've seen him at the tournaments and he's just so sociable and so welcoming and he'll talk to you about anything. That's, that's what's been great about that. The whole tournament's been great. Our hosts have been awesome. They were firm in grads, so it's great to relate with them with that. Talk about the old times and new times. 
and they've just been extremely hospitable. It's been awesome. How welcoming the people have been, our host family, the Emmons family have been so great. And Dick has been so, I thought, you know, he might make uh, one or two appearances for two minutes. And he's been around every day, even the practice day. So, so I'm stunned. This is wonderful. I've been helping Dick Al for the last four years, and I really, really enjoyed it. He asked me four years ago he needed to sell some banners. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, I'll sell some banners, Larry. We only raised $11,000 the first year. So the first year that I took it over, we did 25000 and then the next year, I think in the 40s, last year in the 60s, and this year we're 84,000. And I'll tell you, it's very easy because when you go out and use Dick's name and how he is so involved in pediatric cancer, I'm around him a lot. He eats, drinks, and sleeps at. I see people come up that have had tough time with their children or their grandchildren and they've had cancer, and they're telling him the story. The guy tears up, and he does things from the heart. It, Dick is a true, true guy that really believes in people. He loves people, and he really wants to see this dreaded disease uh, taken care of.